Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about another medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is random pick index. So let's start. The problem statement goes like this, that you are given an integer array nums with possible duplicate randomly output the index of the given target number. So as you can see here is that you are given some array and you have to pick some number out of it, which is equal to target. Don't worry, I'll give you some example as well. So don't worry, just stay with me. So you have to implement a solution class that has two functions inside it okay this is exactly to initialize the object with the array nums so you have to initialize whatever array that you have you have to initialize that array to your whatever data structure that you have to use and the next one is to pick among all the numbers that you have pick the number which is equal to the target value but you have to pick that number in such a way that if there are duplicate numbers which is equal to target value then you have to pick that number in a random manner with equal probability to all the numbers possible okay let's talk about some example to make it more clear let's say that we have this as an input and this is the array that we have okay now you have different function calls which will call you pick 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 and for every pick call they will give you a target value okay so you have to pick exactly a number from this particular array which is equal to this target value such that when you pick out a number you have to throw out the index that you have picked out it is zero based indexing so you will throw out an index in the output such that the number or the index that you have thrown out at that position the number of target should be present and if there are multiple numbers which has the valuable target you have to randomly pick among all of them so let's say if you have to pick three now three is finite position this this and this so you have to randomly pick any one of these index among all of them. So let's say they have picked index four, which is zero, one, two, three, four, the last one. Now they ask us to pick the number one. So the number one is only at this position. So you only put the position this. So this is the index zero. Now they have all again asked us to pick the number three. So you have to randomly choose the number uh, like index among all the threes that are present here. So you have already chosen it. So let's say the next random number you will choose this. So which is index two zero one two. I hope you understand what the problem statement is all about. That you are given a target value. So you have to pick that particular number only from that given array. But if it is occurring multiple times, you have to choose among them the number, like the choose among them randomly or with an equal probability. So that if you choose that particular number, if the multiple times only, then you have to output the index of that. Make it much simple. So what you actually have to do is that the overall solution comes here is that you have to somehow know where a particular number is present and how many time it has present. Okay. So for that, you can just make a map of it. Okay. By map, I mean that for every integer which is present, make a, let's say a map, which will store at what index that particular number is present. So let's say you iterate over this complete array from left to right and just check that. Okay. One is present at index zero. Okay, two is present at index uh, one. Three is present at index, as you can see, uh, two, three, and four. So two, three, and four. So you will just iterate over this complete array and keep pushing inside a particular value in the vector that is attached to that, like how many, like at which position that particular number is present at. Okay, now you have a vector at so that you have built. Okay, I'll go through the code as well, don't worry. After that, what you will do is that if they want to find out, let's say where three is present, you will directly go inside the map, which is here and you have all the index that is there. Now to just choose among these indexes randomly. So you can use the uh, RND function from C++ to generate a random number, but it should be present. The random number should be such that I have to choose a random number between all of these numbers only. Okay, so uh, for that, whatever number is you have, you will do a mod that particular number so that it should only restrict in this particular range. Okay, so you will mod it with the length of the array or the vector that you have that you have generated so that I will only pick a random number between this particular range from zero till n minus one. That is the length of this particular vector that you have. And whatever number you choose, just print out that particular index that is equivalent to the number that you have chosen. And that's that's a complete logic for this particular problem. Let's move on to the actual code part of it. So as you can see, we have this particular uh, data structure that is the map that is used to map an integer to the vector. Vector is the indexes that particular number is present inside the array. 
okay then you will initialize it in such a way that you lift it over all the numbers inside the vector and you will push that particular index where that particular number is present inside the map after that when this pick function is called with a target value what you'll do is that you will first find out what is the length of the vector that is associated with that particular target value so you will find out that in the map you will give the target value and find out the vector itself and find out the size of it like how many elements are present inside the vector then you will find out the length of it and you will generate a random number using this function and do a mod of it with the length so that the random number that is generated should only be in the range of the vector that we have okay and then when you have got the random number generated you will output the answer by taking the vector and that particular vector go to that random number because the random number is actually the index because i have to choose a random index at which the number is present and the number is present inside a particular indexes which is stored inside this vector so among all the positions that particular number is present i will choose a random position using this particular method and just return that that's it that's a complete logic on the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the pen box of this particular video i will see you in the next one until the coding and bye